Hey everybody, it's Allison Haikila. It's time for the March edition of Card Hoppin'. The monthly theme this time around is use it or lose it, and the technique is in or out. This is an interesting one, and I struggled with it for a minute, and then I had an aha moment. You'll see when we go forward. So I've got this adorable ice cream truck stamp and die set from Stamps of Life, and I die cut it and I stamped it. I decided to go with the stamped version. You can see that I used Morning Mist VersaFine Claire ink there because I didn't want it to be so harsh with black. I've got some Koi watercolors and I stamped this on Canson mixed media paper. And now I'm showing you my Princeton Snap watercolor brushes. I wind up only using the size four, um, but you can use you know whatever you're comfortable with. These are my favorite brushes to use. They're super thirsty. They hold a lot of water. They hold a lot of pigment. Um, so yeah, they're, they're really great. So I sped this up an insane amount. First of all, because I didn't really know how much you wanted to watch me paint, but also because this is why see the blur. <laughs> My camera was not loving me today and I'm going to apologize to you profusely. There is a lot of blurry sp spots in this video and I, I have been struggling a little bit with crafting the past few days. I'm kind of in a funk and things are just not working. So when I saw that the video was blurry, I decided to just let it fly. I was at the point where I knew that if I started over, things were going to just get worse and I, I needed to just have something completed uh, because it's just, it's just been a week and it's only Tuesday. That's, that's when I recorded this on Tuesday. Um, so forgive me. I I'm sorry that, that there are some blurry situations happening here. Um, but the card is cute in the end. I went into this knowing that I was going to be using this for the Barely Arts cards for Cubs Drive. I've been doing this for the past few years. And, um, every March they ask for encouragement cards and birthday cards for foster children. So I, this card is not my typical style. It's a lot cuter than I typically do. Um, it's kind of a simplistic design also, um, but I, I knew that this was going to be a card going to a child, so I didn't want to go, you know, all mixed media Alice and crazy and just, you know, whatever. So I kept the, the colors light and bright and happy, and I made a cute card in the end. It just... <laughs> Hard to see it in this video. So I used a, a variety of colors and I, I think that I sped this up a little too fast for you to see what colors they are, but I used uh, a combination of Viridian Hue, uh, Permanent Blue Violet, Ultramarine Deep, Cobalt Blue Hue, Permanent Orange, Permanent Yellow Deep, Quinacridone Rose, Payne's Gray, Ivory Black, Little Burnt Umber, and I, I enjoyed painting this. This is not like a fine arts project. I really just wanted it to be a fun and happy card. So now I'm gonna color in the cupcakes. I'm starting off with the little hearts that are on top. They kind of look like cherries. So I'm using um, Carmine for that one. And then I'm coloring the bottoms of the cupcakes, like the wrapper part of it with that Viridian hue that I used on the awning of the truck. And again, I'm really sorry that it's blurry. I'm sorry that I was off camera for a minute there, but. They do look really cute in the end. This one is going to be a chocolate frosted cupcake. And then I did sort of a buttercream and then I did uh, a strawberry. The group of crafters that originally started doing the card hop and hop started in the Handmade Happiness Facebook group. And since then, we have moved over to our own group just to kind of keep things separate. Um, and Jen Schoolcraft is kind of our fearless leader. She she sets these up with the themes and the techniques every month, and they are a lot of fun, and you can definitely feel free to join us. If you'd like to see all of the folks that are participating this month, we are doing, once again, a hashtag driven hop. So you'll need to just search for the hashtag card hoppin March 2023. And of course, I will have that listed along with all of the supplies that I use in the description below. So make sure that you expand that so that you can see all of the important information, including my supply list. I have the bubble release stencil from A Colorful Life Designs with some pixie spray on the back, but I'm going to need to add some washi tape kind of all over the place to make sure that it stays down. 
And now I've got some Distress inks, Kitsch Flamingo, Tumbled Glass, Cracked Pistachio, and Wilted Violet. And these are colors that I kind of used in the truck, so I just decided to kind of go across in sort of a, a loose sort of rainbow. Um, it's not exactly rainbow order, but I wanted to play around with the colors a bit and make sure that they all blend nicely together. So that's what we have going on here. So again, if you'd like to join us in a future hop, just join the group. Join the group card hopping, and uh, you can participate right along with us. We have a fun time doing this every month. I know I do. It, it stretches um, my thoughts, my creativity, and especially this one. You know, again, that inside, the in or out idea was a little, a little bit of a struggle for me. I was going to do a window card, but, you know, I, I decided to go against that. Um, and instead, I just repeated the colors on the inside of the card from the stencil. Just did a little touch of it, just to give you a little bit more something to look at on the inside. And I think that that came out really cute. So now I'm just going to attach my adorable little cupcake truck and we're going to add a happy birthday using some more VersaFine Claire in Charming Pink. That happy birthday is from the same stamp set as the truck. And, you know, for as much as I struggled with, you know, the idea of what I was going to do and then having these silly camera issues, I think it came out really cute and I hope that it makes one of the children that um, are in the foster care system really happy uh, because again I'm going to be you know donating this to the cards for cubs drive this month I added a little bit of sparkle with a jelly roll pen and it just added a little something extra to those cupcakes and I thought it came out really cute I forgot to mention the the deal behind the theme for this month which is use it or lose it so we were supposed to choose items from our craft room that we haven't used before and we weren't really sure if we were going to keep so I have decided after making this card that I am definitely keeping this little truck stamp and die set because it's super versatile and really, really cute. So I appreciate you hanging in there with me today. I know that this was a bit of a struggle for all of us. Um, so <laughs> thank you so much. Be sure to check out everybody else that's in the hop. I'm sure that they will definitely appreciate it as well. Be well, stay safe, peace out.